How did the Dyson vacuum become such a status symbol for millennials? Let's break it down. Is it because they can't buy houses? They can't have mortgages? So they just got the new N3 MacBook, an iPhone, and a Dyson vacuum. I guess that's where we're headed as a country. All right, everybody, we're going to break this down. Obviously, we're also going to talk about other household items that are, oddly enough, status symbols for millennials. Do we own any? Do you own any? Let us know in the comments down below. Please hit that like button and check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. But you know what could be a status symbol? Smala is currently maybe a status symbol, but it's also just quality wise. It's really good too. Check out smalasauce.com. Orders are going out right now. Looks super slick. I updated the photos on the website. All right. So we're talking about a New York Times article that just came out that went viral called What Makes a Vacuum Cleaner Sexy? How Dyson's Cordless Stick Became a Status Symbol, a Trophy of Domesticity and Generational Must Have. And I had to Damn. talk about this because... Do, do, do. Fire it off, fire it off. Do, 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 do. Woo, fire off a couple shots, David. Hey, you know what? We don't own guns. We don't own rifles. But David, this, that's just... So uh, the article goes on to state, when you would imagine a life of luxury, what comes to mind? A mansion full of walk-in closets, garage housing with sleek German and Italian vehicle names? Whatever it is, it's probably not a cordless Dyson vacuum cleaner mounted in a 550 square foot studio decorated with nothing but a bed frame, but that's what it is. He goes on to say, Andrew, Gen Zers and young millennials for whom traditional markers of stability like home ownership and early retirement retirement seem largely out of reach at this point a Dyson cordless vacuum provides a more attainable type of security somebody says if you can't get a mortgage or house you can get a Dyson so Dude, that's like that should be their marketing motto to what, be honest yeah what a bar but but I understand what they're saying we have a Dyson vacuum I love it it looks cool it's been, it's, it hasn't broken down yet. I feel like the quality is pretty decent. There have been some shakiness on the, you know what I mean? You gotta it fix, still works. You it's, need some tune-ups here and there. But it's very easy to use. I think, David, here's my three things. And I think that this goes for iPhones, like Apple products, right? That are also status symbols well, for a lot of Well, uh, a lot of Apple products, not just the yeah. iPhone, are oh. millennial must-haves, right? MacBook, AirPod Maxes, AirPods, uh, iPhones. Uh, Apple Watch. Apple Watch, also a status symbol, right? Let's be honest. And and also with the Dyson vacuum, I mean, they are both Western companies still. You know, Apple's American, Dyson's British. The British have not fallen yet. Yeah. Our, perhaps our fall from grace was a little bit early spoken on. Well, you know, I think a lot of people forget that Rolls Royce makes a lot of the airplane jet engines, and then Dyson is also British. But anyways, like, so it's like American... It's obviously aesthetic, but also the quality and the everyday usefulness. I mean, let's be honest. These are useful items. Right, right, right. I mean, I think, let's be honest, Andrew, you see the form and the function. And Dyson is crazy because not only do they have the most pop and vacuum, but a little bit before they had the most cordless pop and vacuums, they had the uh, supersonic hair dryer. Yeah, the supersonic hair dryer and even the air blade. David, the curling... Airblade literally is $600. And that's just for curling yeah, hair. Right, right. And of course, Apple products as well as Dyson, they both have uh, a lot of resale value right. as well. Um, I think that one of the keys is here is that they delivered a product that looked like maybe like 300% better than anything else that was a competitive uh, alternative on the market, but worked at least 50% better. Mm. So it had to look at least 200% better and work at least 50 to 100% better. Would you agree? Yeah, both yeah. No, it has to have both. Listen, these are not crap products. They may be overpriced or overrated in your opinion, but they are absolutely top of the game. Right, like right, just right. as far as just straight quality. Right, I, I would say I'm even happier with Apple than I am with Dyson in terms of build quality. Probably. Okay, yeah. Um, I hear some other things that come into mind that are millennial markers of status or that people love. Air fryers, alcoholic sparkling seltzers of a mm. variety of flavors, right? Whether niche flavors or not. Noise-canceling headphones. People are super into collecting those. Bluetooth speakers, that like premium ones. Um, different types of hot sauces, such as Smala, or everyday carry or key organizers for men. Oh. Um, also, gaming systems, PC gaming rigs. These are all things that people have built multiple hyperactive 100,000 people communities off of uh, on Reddit. Right, right. Like, I, like, doesn't that go to show you, Andrew, these are consumer products that yeah. people almost are treating 
Like religion. Like their identity. But I think everybody always did that to some level, but they just didn't know. With social media, it's easier to kind of unite around the love of, I mean, there was like message boards about sneakers. You know what I mean? Like there's all these things from that I feel like people always found. I mean, there's car clubs. If you own a Porsche, it's easy to find like a Porsche group. I don't own a Porsche, oh, but I have a friend who even does. Even in like random cities, there yeah, might be a Porsche Yeah, if you club. own a Lamborghini, you're going to know other Lamborghini owners. Rolex owners, Rolex people can find community and meet each other and stuff like that. Um, Anyways. What do you think about other people trying to become the, the Dyson cordless premium stick of their like lane like there's another british company andrew called typher that has a 500 hundred dollar air fryer that they're trying to sell that and i believe that they are trying to copy the dyson model where it's like something way 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 more premium in the space but way cooler looking but i'll tell you this it only is going to work if the functionality is there yeah if it's worth it if it really is better i see some people i don't know about a community being built but there's like certain types of pans cooking pans that like are kind of the cool pans to have. Yeah, the one with the hexagon pan. Yeah, there's right? that the Helix one, and then there's one called like a one pot, which uh, actually we got gifted a couple years ago, but we don't use it. We gave it to our friend. But like those are considered kind of cool pots. I don't know if there's communities being built around them, but like those are like right, the status the pot symbols. Is so analog, it's even though yeah. they're gonna say I think it's coated it, in NASA space. I think agencies. when it comes to cooking and stuff, it kind of gets a little nasty and dirty. So that's why it's not really. But like, look, other things, David. Right, air fryers, Kasori air fryers. Oh right? no, I got to shout out the Kasori 3 Pro. This is personally the one that I'm saying, if you can find it on sale for $100, it might change your life. It's pretty good. It's a good, it's super easy to use. We got to shout out the U Scooter GT Sport 2023. Right. I think this is the best lightweight scooter ever made. Yeah, I think, here's the thing about U Scooters. I think when I see someone else with a used scooter and I'm starting to see more and more people with them because I think they're just realizing the usefulness. Right, shout out to used scooters. Yeah. All right. If you guys want to use our code, Fung Bros, right? You get like $70 off. Right. So that's shout out. But also, aside from that, we don't actually get a kickback from that, by the way. But um, used scooters are just like, you just know what that other person's thinking when you identify with the used scooter. Like if someone else has another scooter that I don't really like, I'm like, I, I feel like this person doesn't know scooters that well. They're not a scooter nut. Mm, they're not an aficionado. Yeah, they're, they're not a They're scooter not geek. in the know. They're not a scooter geek. Um, I think for me, the Sonos Move, okay. I, I still think to this day, it, it is the best portable Bluetooth like, speaker. Like, that's an item that if you see someone else with a Sonos Move, are you going to say something? Be like, oh, I got that too. I, I know what's up. Yeah, I do say it. Um... AirPods, obviously, people love AirPods, right? I would say there's a large portion of people in any city. You know, obviously, it can change metropolitan to, to rule. If they lose their AirPods that day, Andrew, how many people are going to the store the next day and getting another pair? Mm. Like, I'm saying that that has become that much of a revenue driver, but also it cannot be that big of a revenue driver for Apple unless it is a product that people are willing to die for. That's true. Um. Andrew, for at least for me, I really like MagSafe battery packs. I think this is a little bit more of a niche choice. I'm just throwing it out there. You mean this is not a status symbol? No, it's not a status symbol, but I, I'm just letting people know, you know, you got to use it. I do think, do you believe that people are hyper-tribal and dedicated to their console of choice, whether it's PlayStation, Xbox, or PC oh, gaming yeah, ring? yeah, definitely, bro. That's a way of life. That's a community right there. So I feel like, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like nowadays people maybe just have one maybe two consoles, but they're not switching back and forth yeah, like I, we used to. Would you agree that PlayStation seems like it's one out on the console yeah, wars? Yeah, for sure. Um, I would say this. I'm not saying there's a religion behind it, but somewhat security. We're talking about Blink or Ring doorbell cameras, Andrew, mixed with like the Citizen app. Mm. I noticed for people who are like, I don't know if they're anxious or whatever, this is like a must have, right? Right, right, right. No, I mean, but I, I could see even just in, I guess, a more increased dangerous world in 2023. Get a ring doorbell, guys. Look at who is at your door. Have the ability to scan people. Um, Andrew, there is a whole Reddit around uh, this uh, countertop ice maker. For people who don't have like an infrigerator rice make, uh, um, ice maker. There's a Reddit, a subreddit. Yes, I'm just saying there's a community behind it, man. People want I can't believe someone made a subreddit about it. But I guess at the end of the day, people have questions about it, right? Dude, some people, they love their- There is an air fryer subreddit. 
Oh, the air fryer subreddit is super. Yeah, but I guess it makes more sense because there's like recipes in there. Right, right. I mean, how many different ices are you going to make? Um, somebody said a car mounted GPS holder. I'll say this. I don't know if there's a community behind car mounted GPS holders or like phone holders, but I've been in an AMG, not an AMG, it wasn't an AMG one, just a regular G wagon that almost crashed on the highway in the rain because the person didn't have a car mount for the GPS on their phone. Wow. I'm just saying that this is an item where I'm like, yo, you guys, get a car mount for your phone mm. so you don't crash your car. Um, liquid IV electrolyte packs. This is something, Andrew, the supplement community does have like a cultish following. Right, right. Uh, but I feel like the electrolyte supplement community, or we're talking about yeah, like- I think supplements in general. But like the powdered greens But and I, stuff I, like that. I will say this. If you are a person who exercises a lot, look into the electrolyte packs. I would definitely say Neurotropics is has like a community. Oh, it. for sure, for sure. Um, Crocs. Why do people in 2023 love performance sandals so much? Whether we're talking about the cheaper generic cloud foam ones off Amazon, obviously you can get as expensive as uh, Yeezy slides. There's so you know what I'm saying. There's so many different option. You know, right, right, options right. for performance sandals. Now, I realize that like Crocs is the only item, Andrew, with like 170,000 reviews on Amazon with perfect scores across the board. Yeah, people love it. Um, there's like different things that, you know, like drain products that used to not exist. You know, if you plug up your drain, you know, if you always have this. Oh, this is for me, Andrew. This is a Dyson for me. When I find out that somebody uses disposable vibrating toothbrushes. Mm. I'm a huge fan of these. That's a, that's a community for you. Yes. Um, there is a community around this new product I, I don't know if it, how new it is. It's called a Bissell Little Green Carpet and Upholstery Cleaner. It basically allows people to professionally clean their couches and their chairs right. without paying for a professional cleaner. Right, because it does like the whole water steam thing, but it's probably very uh, easy to use, very compact. Um, also, another millennial thing that I don't think the previous generation really utilized or purchased in large numbers was weighted blankets. Oh, okay. So weighted blankets are designed for people with anxiety issues because it sort of taps into your human sensor for being hugged at night. Mm. Um. Anyway, let's just get into the comments about the Dyson. And it was a really interesting article, guys. Listen, if you have a Dyson or know anybody with a Dyson cordless vacuum cleaner, I suggest you read the New York Times article. This guy said, listen, I have a dog and I hate vacuuming. The only way that I like vacuuming is if I use the Dyson. I'm not going to get my corded vacuum, plug it into the wall, out of the closet, lift it upstairs, lift it downstairs. I don't care if my Dyson is a weaker vacuum overall because I'm not going to vacuum if I don't right, have one. Right, right, right. It's kind of like goes back to, yo, the best helmet is the one you wear. Right. The best vacuum is the one you want to use. If your vacuum is so cumbersome that it makes you not want to use it and you don't vacuum, then literally what's the point of it? Right. Yeah. Like what? It, it's like... I think that the form and the function combination has to be there before the iPhone and were phones really like status symbols or like mm -hmm. something that people wanted to use for everything. Video camera, right, banking app. What are some other iconic products that I, you think are also like kind of got a religion? All right, around? Like we said, there's a reason why Apple is the most profitable company in the world. We already addressed a lot of the Apple products. Okay. And Dyson has the vacuum in the hairdryer. Tesla's. Teslas kind of have a religion, cult following. Yes, there's uh, Tesla owners, subreddits, all these like different You can get into arguments with people about this. Yes. Um, I think that Lexus and Sony, a lot of Japanese brands, used to be in this hyper-premium form plus function tier, but it does seem like in the past five, 10 years, the Japanese brands have fallen off a little mm, bit. Yeah, a little bit, for sure. Um, I think that these ultra-high-end iconic products they have to have a resale market on the after. Uh, they have to have resale value on the after. But what market. makes it have resale, right? It's quality and functionality, right? Like, but not only that, and branding. It's a community that is willing to purchase a used version of it for a pretty sizable portion no, of money. They have a legacy of returning customers. There's people, families who have been buying Apple products for decades now. Literally decades, multiple decades, because right. they've probably been around since, probably since the first iMac. Yeah, they've been around for 25, 30 years plus uh, consumer products. Right. So you have families who have bought parents who have bought. If your parents bought a Rolex buy, and you get a Rolex, you're get, there's going to be a resale value for the Rolex. Right. You know what I mean? I also think that at the end of the day, they have to reinvent something 
or hyper progress a product that's been around for a hundred years or more. Think about it. The iPhone, Andrew, it brought to uh, forward or, or progress the development of the phone. It was crazy. Okay. Um, the Dyson vacuum cleaners, what? Di vacuum cleaners have been around, I'm assuming, for what, 70, 80 years? Nah, probably maybe 100. Yeah. You know? um, as well as the air fryer. The air fryer is just a modern update to the oven. Right. So I think that you have to update a daily IRL everyday use product that's been around for at least 100 yeah. years. And, of course, you can just look at the stock prices of these companies or the but market I, cap. I also think, let's be honest, it's something that you can show people. Like, I feel like air fryers to a level maybe are not going to reach this type of level because I think some people are just going to be like, I think coffee makers, like espresso machines, like if you have the La Maserara or whatever, like that one, like no, that's No, because there's a lot of, a of tiers. There's a lot yeah, of like, tiers. Yeah, like, oh, why well, this Italian espresso maker, not this cheap one off Amazon. You right, know? or you're still using K-cups? <laughs> I yeah. would never. Grind my own beans. Right, um... Andrew, what do you think about products from 100 years ago, like the Singer sewing machine? That used to be a status symbol for housewives. Yeah, I think this, I mean, sewing machines reach a limit because not everybody wants that in their house because you have to know that you're going to use it potentially every day. Yeah. In 2023, do you think these millennial iconic sort of status symbols have staying power? I think if they're good products, I mean, think about it. If Dyson's still around and Dyson's still making quality products, in 15 years from now, what's making me believe that I'm not going to have Dyson? Right. Right? What makes me think that 10 years from now, I'm not still using some Apple products? Right. Do you think it's true that for millennials that aren't following traditional conventional life paths anymore, that it's almost like these have replaced having, you know, the house with the two yeah. cars and the picket fence? It's like, I got the M3 MacBook and all this. Yeah, I do think if you live in an apartment, you're like, well, at least I'm going to have a nice vacuum. You know what I mean? And this vacuum is going to... And it could come with you and it can... Carry with you, you can use it at other friends' apartments. You can use it on your hallway of your apartment right. building. You can take it with you when you do buy a house. Like, these are, like, transferable things. Right, right, right. And if you have, like, a small apartment, the Dyson vacuum is really all you need. Why would you need, like, a corded joint, yeah. right? It's just going to take up too much space. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think are other iconic millennial status symbols that you can purchase. Um, let us know what you think about Dyson vacuums. And let us know what you think about this whole trend where millennials are almost, like, looking for status symbols because they're following such a uh, unorthodox life pattern mm -hmm. from the generations prior to them. Yo, David, fire off some shots with the Dyson real quick, all man. All right. Buck, 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 buck. Whoa! America! All right, you guys. Until next time, let us know in the comment section. We out. Peace. Peace.